It was screeching like a what? screeching, like a burning. You ever heard a teacher's fingernails go screeching down? And a, a chart boy, that's what it basically sounded like. Stephanie Martin cannot believe what she saw last night from her front porch in Lachland. I was sitting out here on my porch with my daughter and the train was coming down the track and it started making a strange noise. And then the next thing we know, it had turned over or something and all this big white cloud of something came blowing up out of there. Crew spent Saturday night surveying the damage at the tracks on Wyoming Avenue, right on the border of Wyoming and Lachland. Hazmat crews were called in and that led to a shelter in place order that was lifted hours later. Crews found no hazardous chemicals spilled. The three train cars involved in this can be seen now off to the side of the tracks. A spokesperson for CXS tells me that those three cars will be moved to their Queensgate rail yard on Monday. It is good to live near a railroad track and they come through and you don't know what they are carrying. CSX says no one was injured and the only stuff found near the tracks were plastic pellets that escaped one of the cars. The company says the other train car was empty with the third carrying the chemical, isoprene a volatile compound used in rubber manufacturing. CSX says the chemical did not leak from the rail car. At that time, I wasn't thinking about no plastic pellets. I was wondering why would they be carrying hazard waste to a community. She's just thankful it wasn't worse. I just thank God nobody got hurt. You just pray and hope for the best. But it's forever changed the way she looks at those trains every time they come down the tracks. I just hope it never happens again. In Wyoming, Tyler Madden, Local 12 News. From breaking news to feel-good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tap subscribe and click the links for more content like this.